Hello, this is me, Dora Kaiser 93, and this is Pretty Rhythm Preview Reviews episode 31. This is going to be a review of the preview for Pretty Rhythm Rainbow Live episode 5. Mm, yeah, I guess it does rhyme, doesn't it? I just thought it, I just thought it rhymed a little bit, but enough about that. Um, let us get on with the preview. The To start off, um, An says, oh yeah, Nara, you have your song, right? Prism, Stones are so, uh, Prism Shows are supposed to be done with your own songs. Am I right? And then Nara says, oh yeah, what am I going to do? And then the next episode's name, I believe, is... Hold on a second. Um, my song is Colorful Dream Bird. And that's basically the end of the preview. So, a really short one this time. Not really much to talk about in the context of the um, of the preview. With We see um, uh, On come in and... What is it? We see On come in. I don't really remember it. But the mo- the most important part you have to see is when you see um, Ido. And she's looking at the um, keyboard. So, hopefully, hopefully, hinting that we are going to have a new character song for Naru this time around. Which I really hope so. Because even though it is going, going to, only going to be episode 5, I would like there to be a character song. Because... In um, Dear My Future, we didn't really get character songs, unfortunately. Throughout the whole entire series, it was mostly just Purity, I mean Prismy, and um, was it, I believe the Purity group was Kara, I believe, I don't know. But for uh, their songs, there wasn't really any character songs. So if we see some character songs early on in the series, it is going to liven things up a bit as they would say, so I'm quite interested in that. Again, like I'm always asking, I know I sound like a broken record about this, but we need some more information about Rene. Come on. We're getting towards the middle of the anime season, maybe, or this season of Rainbow Live, because here's my hope. I hope there's four openers like there were in um, Dear My Future, because again, it can show things to people that I mean, some people might not get, but if they watch the opener, they'll be like, I know that. It was in the opener, wasn't it? It was the same thing, like, I noticed with Sato, and, um, I don't know the pair charm's name, uh, or the pair friend's, Brine's pair friend's name, that is Sato. Confusing, right? But, um, I noticed that in the ending, actually, not the opener. So, if they have more openers and endings, that would sort of open it up a little bit and just clarify some theories but for right now I don't really mind um the pace of the show the show is actually going at a good pace of course um it does say 13 episodes in anime news network but again we learned our lesson with damn future it's probably going to be 50 or 51 episodes it's a pretty rhythm series they've done it two times before where it's 51 episodes so don't be surprised um if this series does, does go 51 and besides that, um, I don't really have much to say um, for the next episode, except Naru's probably going to have a character song. I hope that, I hope that Rene does have more information revealed about it. And are we going to see Naru perform in a Prism show for real this time? Because all we've seen her do is come out, dance. We haven't seen her do a single Prism jump, but we've seen her do a Prism live. So his hopes to a uh, Prism jump or two or three. Maybe four in a first try, but maybe one. So, again, this has been Midori Kazanani 3. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later.